Moving on, we've got our uh, Torx bits. We've got a double pair of channel locks. We've got our Knipex uh, pliers from the Master Race, the courtesy of Big Lou. Looks like we've just got some wire, Teflon tape, some paint pens. You know what this is? That's an impact driver. If you have a something that's really, really stuck, this was, I guess, maybe before impact drivers, uh, it's a, you hit it with a hammer, and this rotates, and it will shock things loose. So you can put, like, Phillips screws or lots of different things on it. Uh, these are granddad's here, a couple of ins mirror, inspection mirrors. I use these often uh, for hard to get areas, like when I was trying to fish the mouse out of my heater box. I got that up underneath there with the light. I'll definitely keep those. I actually use these quite often. And here is a small portable hacksaw uh, handle. Um, I don't know that I've ever used this. It seems like a good idea, but I just don't know that I'm going to use it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give that to Brian. I've got a regular hacksaw. I can't keep everything. Uh, some extractors, and then some random um, socket things that I don't know what to do anything with. Let's start this endeavor off right. We'll vacuum and clean everything and then put some fresh drawer liners in there. That looks a lot nicer. Now we can put a fresh drawer liner in. I, I, I can't abide having tools on that on a painted surface sliding around. I like to have, even if it's just a piece, granddad used to just cut cardboard. He did it really neat though, and it would just lay a piece of cardboard in there and soaks up the grease a little bit, but you can get these things pretty cheap now. The last, um, I'll tell you, the last few years, I've really been impressed the importance of, it. I think it means a lot to God to, for us to be, to be respectful to, to the things that he gives us and to care for, care for our things. You know, I guess the way I'd look at it is if you were to give your son something, uh, something nice and he were just completely uh, leave it out in the rain and not look after it and take care of it is how would that make you feel that um, I don't think God's any different God has feelings I mean we're made in his, his his image and if we have feelings then it's only because he does as well so I think it's uh, I, I just, it's important when you see how organized he required the children of Israel to be in the in the Old Testament from setting up there the way they set up their tents and their encampments and all that, uh, he directed that, and he it was it was neat and orderly, and I think that there's a, there's something to that. Is that thing giving you trouble? I thought you had one side in. It did, and then it, I tried to push it in, and it, it popped out. Yeah. Well, let me know if you need any help. I'm not sure all this is the best order, but uh, we can change it. It's, I mean, it's going to be a whole lot better than it was, right? So we'll do drill bits and uh, uh, the mirrors, and then we've got our oil changing tools. And uh, I found my big pop rivet gun here. We could do organizer pop rivet stuff here. At least we'll know where it's at. Maybe we'll make a little box or something for those pop rivets. Those are handy to have specialty tools and uh, you know I'm gonna put these somewhere else I don't I don't think it really this is more automotive stuff here so let's put our we'll put our specialty sockets in here things that we need from time to time but not every day all right let's take a look at what we accomplished today three doors down five to go Man, that feels good. I've never had this done properly. Got our number one there we did yesterday, and then we did two today from pliers, and I ended up putting the um, um, pop rivet stuff right there. That all fits in there pretty good. And then here we got extractors and drill bits, and these are some wobblies and specialty sockets, oil changing stuff and grease stuff there, and, uh, and that with the drawer liners looks nice. And then next time we'll tackle, we'll start tackling uh, the rest, a couple more of these guys. Now, part of our deal, right, is we're fixing things as we go. So I noticed with this, I remember, I think um, oh, someone tried to break into this, an old shop I had, mess up the lock, and I had to drill it out to get the tools in, and I never fixed that. 
So I'll, uh, I'll call uh, Kennedy and see if I can get the parts for this. We'll get everything done right, as well as one of these drawers. I think this one here, all the bearings fell out of it. So if I can get new slides for it, we'll get that fixed as well. And we'll put everything, you know, this needs to be fixed, everything back in order the best we can, uh, if possible. And you notice I didn't put those old leather punch tools back in there. Um, and, you know, the, the deal is, is when you come across something, you need to deal with it 100%. So that means, you know, find a place. So I took a minute and I went and got all my leather repair stuff. Uh, you know, this is stuff for, um, you know, fixing leather belts or because you stopped drinking beer and now you're just losing weight like crazy for no reason. Uh, you need to, to, to tighten up your belt and put a new hole in it, right? So the leather tools in there, and I, I do have a few more scattered around other places, but as we go through our, our stuff, we'll just keep putting them in here. And then I picked out um, my leather scraps, uh, different things that we can need to make sheaths or repairs. Now that'll all be in one place, and so we'll just keep that there. And then when we did need to do leather repair, we can grab this and bring it in and we'll have everything in one spot. You know, it's always, always the goal. And if it doesn't apply, if it's not something you need in your life anymore, then it's time for it to move on to uh, someone else. I guess that's about all we have time for today. Feels really good, even if it's just one small thing. If your shop is a complete disaster, like mine was before, you know, before we started last year, uh, just bite off three feet. You don't have to do the six feet. <laughs> bite off three feet and uh, set aside an hour a day after work. Just go in there like, okay, I'm going to deal with this. And if it takes you a week or a month to deal with that three feet, then that's your project, right? You don't move on until otherwise, until it's done. And then, uh, I mean, over a, it, an hour a day, that, that builds up over time, right? And uh, before you know it, you've, you've got six feet of shop and then you've got 12 and then 20. And before you know it, you have everything in order and uh, you're much happier and a lot less things to worry about and less frustration when you want to do a project you can find stuff so because i think most of us could probably pretty easily give away half to three quarters of the stuff that we have and uh, not really be in want so that's it thanks for watching and we'll see you guys on the next video what do you got going on here what's giving you trouble thing on the inside you got them off both beads yeah okay but it's on the outside Okay. All right, so let's do one side at a time, right? Mm -hmm. so that's fine. Okay. So take a couple pry bars. You can't use too much soap. Okay. That, that'll help a lot. Okay, you see how I did that? Mm -hmm. Put it on the side and then push it out. Yeah, so here's what you need to do. We've got to clean this out the best we can. See, you got all that grit and stuff in there now? Mm -hmm. That's why you don't work in the gravel when you have a nice concrete floor, unless you have to. Okay. Keeping that pressed down in that well. Now the reason for the ratchet strap, you see, as we put air in, it's gonna escape around the uh -huh. side, right? I tried that earlier. So, so you send the wheel, so you gotta ratchet it down. And what that does is that pushes and forces that bead out. Mm -hmm. Now put your air in there, see if that'll, see if it'll seat. On the street, you gotta put it like that. You hear, hear it when it's going in? Mm -hmm. Try and, you have to kinda of keep playing with it. There we go. Stop. You feel it start get, getting tight. Mm -hmm. Take your ratchet strap off. Go ahead and fill it up. Okay. That's it. We're getting a new tire, right? We're going to put tubes in it. What do the tubes do? Well, this is a tubeless tire. Mm -hmm. So this is so old because it sat and it's cracked right there. So it's leaking a little bit out of there. Mm -hmm. We want to check for leaks. We put oil on it, right? 
See how it's leaking? That's where it's going flat. It's a lot of leaking. Yeah. Now we have some slime. One thing we can do is go grab that thing of green slime over there. What seal? So when you layer, let air out, see there's a seal there? Mm -hmm. When you let air out, when you push that, it opens that little valve uh -huh. and lets the air escape. I've seen them before. Yeah, so set that aside. So if you get in a pinch, tire store guys will hate you if you use this stuff. Why? Because then they have to clean it up and it's, it's terribly sticky and messy. Mm. But it will get you by in a pinch. You remove the valve stem and it'll tell you on the deal how much to put, how many ounces. Mm -hmm. So if we see for a lawnmower, it's eight ounces, right? Mm -hmm. So how many ounces are we, do we have left in there? We're at 20. Mm -hmm. So if we went to 16, that'd be, yeah. so how many ounces do we want to put in? Uh, eight ounces. Right? So when you're done with that, um, get the tire size, mm -hmm. which is a 15 by six right here. This is it right there. Mm -hmm. And go on Amazon and order two tubes. Okay. And then uh, we'll get to do this process over again. At least a few won't take five hours. Yeah. Well, Brian will have him bring back the tire changing stand that we have, and that'll make things a whole lot easier. 15 by 6, 6 NHS? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And you're just looking for a tube. Okay. And then we'll take this, we'll take this deal out, and the tube will go through there, and hopefully that will solve our... Our problem. Neat. All right. Thank you. And don't run it with a flat tire, then you don't have to do that. <laughs> <laughs>